terrifying moments for an Ashboro family after a fire ripped through their home, seriously injuring a 10 year old boy. Yeah, the boy was trapped inside. His father, desperate to save him, gets lost in the smoke, but ends up pulling him out through a wall. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke with the family. Amber, how is the boy doing tonight? Chad, Julie, the Burroughs family lost everything in a fire December 8th. 10 year old Chevy was sent to the hospital with second and third degree burns from head to toe. The family weighing heavily on community support and their faith to get them through this very traumatic time. Everybody came to death. I think it was just moments from everybody being dead. On December 8th, life changed for the Burroughs family. I couldn't imagine being woke up by my 10 year old screaming and then open a bedroom door and seeing that. A fire started in the back of the family's home. Everyone inside woke up, not to smoke or flames, but to 10 year old Chevy screaming from his room. My brother was trying to crawl down the hall. He has burns on his hands and his knees and the top of his feet from trying to crawl down the hall. And so he could not get to him that way. So he had to come out to where we're at now and beat a hole through the wall. You know, went through vinyl siding, plywood, studs, sheetrock, everything. And the hole he knocked in, you know, was right there with Chevy and pulled his boy out. And he said the first place he reached there he was, and he knew that the Lord had done that for him. And so we're very grateful uh, that they're all alive. And the mother actually knocked the window out that's actually right here behind me to pull their 15-year-old daughter out the window. The family saved, the home destroyed. 10-year-old Chevy wasn't breathing. His dad performed CPR. Chevy was flown to Brenner Children's Hospital in Winston-Salem, where he underwent his first surgery Tuesday. He's a Burroughs. He is a fighter, and he ain't going to stop. He's not going to stop without a fight. God works in the storm, and this is definitely a storm in their life. And so for them to get through this, it's going to take a lot of prayer and a lot of, a lot of help and people supporting them. And that so far has been awesome. At this time, we don't know what started the fire. We do know the family does not have health insurance. The family staying at the hospital right now with Chevy for the time being. Their next move is uncertain. As for Chevy, he's alert enough to ask about his cat. And today, the cat was spotted near the home.